Many ex-Muslim and critics of Islam claim that the Quran states that the sun sets in a muddy spring. In this video, we'll provide a comprehensive explanation to debunk this argument. First, let's take a look at the specific verse in question. It's found in Surah Al-Kahf verse 86. The verse mentions the two throne one, or Tulkarnain's journey and his encounter with the, what some claim to be the setting of the sun in a muddy spring. This interpretation has led to many misconceptions that the Quran suggests the sun actually sets in a muddy spring. In this verse, the Quran is not presenting a scientific statement about the sun's movement, but in the narrating a story related to Dhul-Qarnay. The Quran often uses descriptive language to illustrate various events and stories. It's essential to remember that these descriptions are not meant to be taken literally. The language used is metaphorical and not to be interpreted as a scientific statement. The story of dhul involves a righteous and just ruler who embarked a journey to the ends of the earth. The verse is narrating his journey to a far-off place where he sees a phenomenon that is beyond his understanding. The setting place of the sun mentioned in the verse does not refer to the actual setting of the sun, but rather to a distant and mysterious location that dhul reaches during his travels. From a scientific perspective, we know that the sun does not set in a muddy spring. It appears to set below the horizon due to sun's rotation. This natural phenomenon is well understood and has been observed by scientists for centuries. In conclusion, the Quranic verse in Surah Al-Kahf does not suggest that the sun sets in a muddy spring. The verse is a part of a narrative and should be understood in its proper historical and metaphorical context. It's important to approach religious texts with an understanding of the language and metaphors used. I hope this video provided you with a clear and informed perspective on the matter. 